Hey everyone, this is Daniel Bayboom here, and welcome to this video where I'm going to be doing a hybrid orchestral trailer track from scratch. I'm very excited to be working with um, Christian Bacic and the guys over at Trailer Music Academy who had this idea. So yeah, you know, I've never done this type of thing before where I'm kind of just showing the whole process, you know, everything from all the sounds I'm using, the way I build the track. And stuff like that. I mean, look at this. I even colored my tracks for you guys. And put these cute little icons. I never really do that. But I thought it would look professional. Um, I'm thinking I could go through a few of the sounds here. Just, you know, I've just loaded up a few sounds that I sometimes, you know, use. Well, actually, the strings and the brass I use all the time. So, you know, you have the... Cinematic Studio strings, I use them all the time. I love them, both for the legatos and the shorts, the spiccatos. So yeah, those are definitely my go-to. Uh, I'll go through, you know, things I'm using, some of the EQs I use. I actually kind of just use Logic's own stuff. I recently bought this SSL G channel with some EQ and a couple other things, compressor and so on. Um, but basically, what I've been using is just Logic's own stuff. Um, and let's see, what else do we have here? We have some. Cinebrass 12 Horn Ensemble. They actually come standalone now. Like this, so you could get that. You don't have to get the whole thing. They sound great. Perfect for trailer music. And we have some more that I use for lower brass. It's from French Horn Essentials. Uh, yeah, here. Um, it's kind of nice. Get that nice bite. Um, let's see. I don't have that much, you know, effects right on uh, here now. Let's see. Um, I use Logic's own reverb here, Long Tail. Then you have also a nice room from Valhalla that I recently bought. So I've been basically been using Logic's own stuff for a while now, and then just recently bought this Valhalla room. Sounds great. I have a few of those. A little long, uh, you know, tail on that one, and then a lot more roomy that I use sometimes. Yeah, also a super long tail for certain things I use sometimes. Which is also Valhalla. Uh, all right, what have we got? We got some trailer brass, French horns there, and then the same with the trombones. Oh yeah, uh, this is a freebie from X for Records called OTT. It's a multi-band compressor. Just sounds really nice. Opens up the sound. I turn it off. A little bit more, you know. Not as, well, what do you call it? Not as bright. So definitely get that one. It's for free. Uh, and you know, just some, some, some synth sounds. Stuff I've used before. And uh, yeah, we gotta have a Bram, of course. I just picked one from Audio Imperia. I love Audio Imperia stuff. Using so much of their stuff. Here's from Shredders. One brand I, I chose there that could be useful, maybe. It's a nice low synth drone there from Ava Instinct. Actually, I bought that recently. It's great trailer tools, basically. You have the hits, you have the effects, the risers, some drones, and stuff like that. Also, just pick this because it could be useful. Audio Imperia. Some nice basses going there. Pulsing basses, arpeggiated stuff. And more Audio Imperia stuff. Also just picked a few sounds that might be good to have. From Photosynthesis Mystic. Um, analog strings, just also some sound I had that I thought... Might be useful, who knows. Um, and then just some practical stuff. Some risers. 
rise and hit, a few of those, Ava Instinct again with the some risers. You know, I I don't really use that much of effects like that when I'm, you know, in my tracks. Since my tracks are more orchestral based, I'm not that great, you know, with coming up with manipulating, you know, these cool sounds. So I usually go with, you know, I'm I'm a preset guy, definitely a preset guy, and I try to tweak it. So I might just use more of, you know, those typical sub uh, drops. And because, you know, if the track is great, hopefully this track will be great, you know, then, you know, the effects part for what I do, I don't do it that much. And so far, it's it's working, you know. And so we'll see about that. A couple of percussion things. Epic Tom's um, ADO. More majestic percussion ADO and just recently bought this Strike Force cinematic percussion. Really love those guys. Sounds great. Really great percussion. Which, you know, I'll go through stuff while I'm writing it, explaining what I'm doing. Um, so, yeah, it's all in sections here. Oh yeah, we got Oce uh, Oceania. Oceania. <laughs> like, how do you how do you pronounce that? Oceania. I don't know. Anyway, use that choir. Uh, here we have some more audio period stuff. Just a nice piano that could either be used just as a piano, or you add the effects with the mod wheel. Then you have a few presets here you can select. So once I start using sounds, I'll explain what I'm doing. Um, well, let's just see, you know, yeah, and then I have here, this is a hit I used before. It's basically from Ava Instinct again. Uh, these guys, let me show um, here. I just built it with the whoosh bangs and the hits. So the hits itself usually combine for some great so I have some of those things combined with the Wishbang from also the same company to create this little guy. Um, yeah, so basically this is what I'm using right now, and let's get to it. What I'm going to do now is just, you know, I have no ideas. I have no idea what I'm going to write. So I'm just going to sit here, just a simple piano, Logic Zone, um, try to come up with something, and I will you know, explain as soon as I have something of interest to you what I'm what I'm thinking. Right now I have nothing. This is just a dreaded blank page. Hopefully it will become something or, you know, I mean, hopefully I won't just stare at the screen pulling my hair out like, come on, you son of a bitch. No, that won't happen. Um, I'm sure it won't happen. I hope it won't happen. Um, so basically, yeah, I'm going to be trying to come up with something. Won't talk as much then. I'll talk once I have something of interest. So let's see what happens. So basically the idea though is for me to get some sort of trailerish thing going here, repetitive, something that, you know, you can do like a hook, not a hook, but something that just sticks, you know. So let's see what happens. So, also, I'm just, right now I'm playing around with, it could be anything from stuff I've done in the past, to things I've heard, to just anything that comes into mind, you know. Uh, I will try to play, and just eventually maybe that takes form or takes shape into something cool. Let's hope that. Let's see. I'm in I'm in D right now, the key of D, so why not? Let's choose D. 
Isn't that what Hans Zimmer did? Talked about in his masterclass. I love D. Um, yeah. Might as well come up with something in D. So, let's see. What could we do? like something here what I'm trying here You know, this track doesn't have to be the most awesome trailer track in the world. It just has to be a good track that has the right structure that I like to use and that feels licensable with lots of hits and stuff like that. Um, maybe I should just try something like that. I can kind of hear that with hits and uh, percussion, you know, going like... You know, it's not the most original thing, but maybe it could be. With you know, I'll try to come up with something cool with it. Hmm. Also, kind of you like to use, let's see, cello spiccatos. Just sometimes inspires me. That pattern is pretty cool. I mean, it does have a little bit of a born pattern, actually. I don't remember 
right now I'd want, but maybe that could work uh, with strings and stuff going like that. Pretty cool. That could be like the end of it. A little dissonance. Like that with the D and the E flat. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this and see what happens. It's kind of nice just to go with it sometimes. See, see if yeah, I'll be using this. Sorry about that. Key switch down here. There we go. Uh, all right, so there we have um, something to do. Maybe, I don't know. Let's see with this piano here. Maybe something I could... I mean, it's kind of nice to start with a soft intro with the traditional boom. No, I like my name. Um, let's see if we have something there. And then maybe, you know, that's kind of just to build something. It might suck. It might really suck. And so I'll, you know, I'll change it later. But it could be nice to... So there are a few booms here, once again from Ava Instinct. that I could use and maybe so what what let's see what the tempo was for this thing if I go back to the feeling of it that's then what tempo do we have here oh let's go to get the volume down on that that's a little annoying all right um so we want dun 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 bring it down dun 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 is that too fast? sorry did it again let's see Yeah, let's try that. Why not? So, just to get things going, uh, I don't want to start at bar here because maybe I will tweak something in the end. Maybe I want to add something. So, let's just start up here. Bar 9, why not? So, let's see. Try to add a boom just to have fun with it. Pretty cool. Almost sounds like a spaceship going off, like Interstellar when they're, what do you call it, releasing the. Cool. Love it. Um. Yeah. So, just plain and simple. Just put that there. Let's see what happens. Oh, one thing. When I am recording, I usually do this recording capture recording. It's called. So it's like this. And then, oh sorry. And I can play it. So it's basically just like I'm playing it, but. Afterwards, I press the key command I have for capture, and it shows up. I just usually use that instead of pressing record. Honestly, I don't know why. It's just uh, become a habit now. So that's what I'm doing. Let's see. So it's not really on the beat. Let's get it. Cool. I have something there at least. <laughs> you know, <laughs> simple thing. Maybe we could start it with like at least the chords. Maybe something like that. Dun, 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 dun. 
And then I might bring the velocities down after that just to see what that might be. And I'm just going to play it, see what happens. Yeah, let's try it. Oh, yeah. All oh, the keys would slip. Anyway, let's just see. Let's quantize on that. Let's set this up. Let's just quickly get this here. Alright, that looks better. Now I can see what's going on here. I'm going to select all of them and... You know, I haven't even figured out a quick key command for this. I suck at that. And this is just to fix, have them all fixed at a certain key velocity. Way too much. So I just go here with the velocity button. Maybe the tempo is too fast. Let's see a different tempo. How would that feel? Hmm, can't decide yet. Let's go in between. Okay, so we have this thing. Uh, maybe that could keep going. Right, but I still have the pedal clicked in. Should be working. I'm sorry if I didn't say I'm using Logic, as you can see. I've always used it. And yeah, so Logic 10 here. Right, what else could we have? We could have, we could have... Let's get that guy again. You know, it's good edit points. Always be thinking about that. Where the editor will make some sort of change in the scene. Just gonna, I know I will be doing this later anyway, adding some reverb and stuff like that. So we get a little tail, a little more room. And I'll start with that. We'll see what happens. Yeah, this is the EQ I usually use before. Simple. Logic Zone. Um, I already have it set a little bit. You know, I know some people don't like to boost the highs. Frankly, I just really suck at all the special things you can do with all the knowledge. I, I don't really have it. I just go with what I like, what sounds good. Um. So yeah, I'm definitely not a pro mixer guy. I can make it sound good, I hope. That's usually, you know, what I think I can. And it's mostly just by my ear, like I said. So anyway, don't need to have those highs for the sub room, though. All right, so okay, we're going to have the thing come in like this. Let's see. We have some of the... We have some synth things here. Maybe something I could do. Just using some mod wheel here. This one obviously has a lot of delay in it already. In the engine, let's get rid of the delay. Yeah, that's cool. Maybe we could just have it on D, or like that something. Just to get some atmosphere once again and get more tail. No room. Basically, I just tweak the mod wheel there to get 
tail going? I mean, not the tail, just to not have it like this, but less. You know, I'm just going with any idea that comes to mind. Might suck in the end. Let's see what happens. recording. Sometimes when you do that, well actually every time when you record something like this in Logic it creates another track of the same song. Do that. Very annoying function. I wish I could solve that easier. Fix the piano. I really don't know. Chorus. Cut this guy away. And just this. I know it doesn't have to go down again. Okay. So uh, we have the bass notes there. I could add that with, like I usually do. Works. Once again, I'll just have some preset setting here with the reverb. It's uh, the old. I really don't use that many play instruments, but this is from the old East West Quantum Leap Symphonic Orchestra Gold nine double basses. That's a big section though. It just comes in with a bass. I mean it comes in with a piano like this. Let's see. Um, I'm just gonna get those two guys together. Um, okay, and then let's double that with the cellos. Uh, do I have some low cut? Yeah, I cut them a little bit. to see what that sounds like. That's too much. Let's get the volume done more. Pretty basic stuff. Um, let's see. What else would I like? It just comes to mind right now. Let's get a little whoosh thing going. What do I have here? Yeah, I think I've used that. I like that one. Uh, maybe just a little more room and then very long tail could work. Don't know what the volume is like yet. Let's try it. Let's try to get this guy on the 
the beat. Uh, you can just use delay here. I'm delaying it a little bit until I find the beat. Still early. Late. A little late still, I think. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna save the project there. And take a two minute break. And obviously, for you guys, I'll be back in a few seconds. But yeah, just taking a little break. <laughs> 